friends, honeys, cousins, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, this is my third consecutive video in my car, so things are happening. Today I'm here to update you all on my post myomectomy happenings. It has been a ride. It, it is a learning experience. And boy, I remember the last update I gave you all. I mentioned that I hope the next time I come back to talk about this, it is much better. In the last video, I almost cursed myself for having that surgery. Now let me tell you. Let me just give you all a backstory. So a while ago, I was diagnosed with uterine fibroids. And you know, fibroids are uncancerous growth in and out of the uterus, the womb, which has been used interchangeably. So I was devastated because I, first of all, I, don't, I wasn't that much educated on fibroids. I don't think much women are until they're going through the process so they happen to be associated with someone that has experienced that situation. So I was diagnosed with uterine fibroids, devastation, took over, crying, tears, want to know if I can make a child or not, and the whole roller coaster. So I have a few videos. I want you all to look at it. It's in the playlist story time. You all are gonna have all the updates. So it's just for those who are joining the channel for the first time. I just wanted to give you all that backstory. So I had that surgery and obviously recovered. My first period wasn't anything to talk about. Basically, it came and went. Nothing much of an experience. I thought that is how it was going to be. It was pretty light. The second period almost make me curse the day I had that surgery. So just go ahead guys, look at that video. So today I'm up <laughs> so today I'm updating y'all, letting y'all know. So it has been be sure. Let me check the amount of days. I also told y'all that I was on this Zolodex. They shrink the remainder of the fiber. Those are like the little ones. I don't know the noise outside you'll have to excuse it. So I'm trying to speak above the noise in the background. The last shot was sometime in June. I think the 3rd of June. If, if the date is not correct, the 6th of June, I'm just gonna put it here for you. And the one before the last one, which was the second Zolodex, between the second and the last Zolodex, it was 29 days apart. The last period came from my second period that I talk about in that video. The, from my second period, it was 74 days after the last shot of Zolodex and 88 days after the last period. Imagine how, not having a period 88 days. It's like living life in luxury, life in London, and I enjoyed every bit of it. But I was worried about not having my period. I know during the process of getting the shot, the doctor told me that I may not get a period or I may get a period. So I was wondering how during the shot, I am still getting a period. So this was the time that I didn't get the period. After the last shot, then is when thing really kicked in. I wanted to know if I went into menopause. Am I going to be able to have a child? Because you know your period is your determining factor. Well, without having any physical exam or whatever, determining factor as to if you are fertile. It's very important to a woman to have a period, especially if she has plans on having a child. That wasn't there, so I was like, ooh. So this is what life has set out for me. No period, no child, no husband, and this is it, huh? Hmm. So I wait around. I didn't even bother to go to the doctor. I didn't go to the private. Every time you go to the private, you have to spend some money. And I couldn't have gone back to the public hospital because first of all, they would have asked you, is there anything wrong with you? Then why are you here? I can't just go up and say, oh, I, did. I had a surgery recently and I haven't seen my period for X amount of days. They might just send me back home and say, once you're not sick. I waited around patiently, enjoy my days without any period while secretly worrying about what is wrong with me and bam just like that 
on my birthday, my period came. 88 days later. I was happy and that happiness continued throughout my period. <laughs> Cause guess what? I had no pain. My period wasn't heavy. Oh, I'm lying. Maybe my period was heavy on the, the usual thing. The first three days it was heavy, but not heavy. No clotting, no pain and mm, Maybe I had slight pain, you know. Whatever it was, if I had pain, it wasn't that significant. Well, I used my maternity pad because I was already gearing up for what was to come based on my last period. Wore my maternity pad, that was filled up. I wore my maternity pad the next day or the night and it was filled up. But then I remember I had my menstrual cup that I was given. I'm a volunteer in the NGO, women, women owned media network and they are currently running this campaign it's hello beautiful and it's about ending period poverty and I got that emergency period kit from them that yeah so I remember I got that menstrual cup I don't know how many of you are skeptical about your menstrual cup I'm not telling you to use it but I'm just sharing my experience with the menstrual cup I love it it's a super life changer no more maternity pads granny panties whatever it is no more of that you don't have to worry about spillage you just need to learn how to insert your period cup get the correct size and once that is correctly inserted you don't have to worry about anything you can even sleep with it and it's comfortable once it's inserted properly right now I could experience like all the periods that I want to experience it's not a problem for me because I don't have to wear that big pad between my legs anymore yes TMI <laughs> live my life and just have confidence that that period cup is doing me well. I had no clot. When you're taking out your period cup, you just need to ensure that you're in a comfortable position. I like to do it in the bathroom when I'm showering, in a squatting position, and then you gently have to squeeze the base of the cup and then, you know, gently take it out. But you can look at videos for demonstration and that. Often the day I did the surgery because life is so much easy, so much better, and I'm enjoying it. I mean, I don't want to talk too fast because I don't know what the next period holds, but I am being optimistic that my next period is going to be just as nice and enjoyable as this one. <laughs> I'm really happy. In terms of the healing or the scarring, I can feel that raise or that bump along the line of the incision it scratches sometimes you can apply a little bit more pressure on the tummy you can lift things and I think I've basically gone back to my regular routine 100% and this is how life has been for me post myomectomy guys I know the fiber does grow back in three months in two years and they can grow in different spots especially if you if you've had multiple fibroids like I did I did a video where I showed the picture of the fibroids I also mentioned how much I had it's about 12 the biggest being about seven centimeters check those videos for the details um, if you're considering a open myomectomy which is the fastest way to go it's a super invasive surgery your doctor or your health practitioner is gonna advise you and prep you for that surgery but I think it's one of the best things that I've done for myself because my period is more manageable I'm happy I'm excited the what has contributed to a, a more manageable period like I said is having that menstrual cup um, it's up to you to try it out you just need to make sure that your hand is properly sanitized that cup is properly sanitized and the cup is a wash and reuse you can wait for the entire day you know this video is not about a tutorial on the menstrual cup I'm just giving you that quick thing that you can just go and get your cup wash it you don't have to spend so much money and pads again every month you have that cup and you can use it for the first three days of your period or heaviest days and after that you can revert to your regular pads the thin ones or the liners so for me what I did my period lasted five days thank God the first three days were heavy and I used a cup and then coming down to the end is a tampon because I got so accustomed to wearing my normal panty and not feeling anything. I have all my pads there. All my pads are just there. So that period cup saved my life. That surgery 
save me major discomfort and I'm excited so guys that's enough I think I've rambled and so if you've made it this far thank you so much you're the real MVP and show sure to watch these videos right here until then stay safe cousins bye bye oh yeah, I got a table to go. I got everything I want